Hey guys, hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to this week's video. I'm gonna show you some car X stuff, but before we start I want you to like and subscribe and share and comment this video even though you don't know what it's about yet. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you some car X stuff in this in this week's video guys. So so without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> hey yo, what's good everybody? This is Dan. I'm going to be uh, doing a little tutorial video for everyone today just on how to make a Photoshop livery or if that's what I'm going to call it I preferably use GIMP uh, but whichever image manipulation program or software you want to use is cool as well uh, as long as you're able to export it back into the game and the files then it should all work out nice um, but you can make yourself something nice like this or whatever image you want to use this is an AI generated image that I just put on a car um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's show you how to do this. Cool, now I want to show you guys a simpler way to do this as possible without making it too complicated or anything. Um, but there's a few things you need to know about how to make, obviously, Photoshop libraries like this. Um, so what I'm going to do is straight away, I'm going to go and get, uh, go ahead and get a new car. And we'll start from fresh. And I'll let's pick the Majesta. I don't really use that. But this is an example. Nice classic car. Cool, so the first things we want to do with this are any basically before you take this car into Photoshop, or well this is the body of this car into Photoshop, um, you want to lay down some base stickers for you to actually be able to see where the um, livery is going to be on the car, where the panels are on the car, because um, you're going to be looking at a couple of basically plain black squares when it comes to um, pulling it into GIMP or Photoshop. Uh, so the best way I've found is first when you go to design and create yourself a livery is, is just stick a big white square all over the top of the car. So we'll do that now. Cool. And once we've done that, we then want to do the same to the windows because again, you're going to be looking at a black square in your file and you want to be able to see where those windows actually are in that image if you just leave them plain and clear it's just going to be nothing on there so the best way is to then stick a black window or a black sticker over the windows so there we are with our car uh, it's covered in some white stickers there's a bit of a leak over on that section there but don't worry about that and we've got a black sticker over the windows uh, cool. So now we can come out of the design workshop and we can start looking into your files. So the next bit we want to do is to open your Kino and in your Kino, down in your tools icon, and there's a bit called car dumper. When you click on car dumper, you can dump this livery. So the livery that's currently on this car, we'll dump it and we'll get the textures off it. So dump livery. And that's that bit done. So when it comes to your files, you want to go to your file explorer at the bottom and find your car X folder. In there you go through your ZML into mods and KN base and down to your visuals folder. And in there you're going to find a file called livery template build. We're going to use that file. I'll just get rid of these. Don't need them anymore. But that's where they're going to be stored anyway. And we're also going to go back to the CarX folder again and go into ZML, same path, mods, KN base, and in there you're going to find the car dumper folder. Now that's the file where it actually dumps uh, the livery that we've, we've just taken out of the game. And as you can see, there's the windows, you can actually see the panes now. Now, if you, you didn't put the stickers over these panels, you wouldn't be able to see them, they'd just be black. But we're going to use these two folders, and they're both in your KN base. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get that image there, open it up in your image editing software. I'm using GIMP today. And you can see we have the body of the car that we've just uh, pulled or dumped from that car we've got some front and back bumpers, side panels, you've got your top front bumper and spoiler as well. 
and this is how we're going to create the livery. This is what we're going to build it on. I've got some images here as an example. They're just some filthy logos and stuff. Uh, the one I'm going to use is the. We'll, we'll use the McDonald's one. We'll use the filthy McDonald's. This is an AI generated image. Um, we're just going to pull that into GIMP. Yeah, we're just going to use this McDonald's one, this filthy McDonald's logo, and pull that into GIMP. And there we go, images inside GIMP. Just going to give that a little rotate. Line it up, we'll just give that a little spin round, make it a bit smaller. And then just uh, try and line it up on the bumper. A bit more scale just to pull that to the side. It might leak over onto some other panels, but don't worry, we can we can sort that out as well. Let's just fit the shape nicely. And another thing you can do to make it so it doesn't you know look quite like that is go over to your, your actual filters and go down and put it on multiply. That way it only actually covers the panel, you can't see any of the exterior parts of the sticker. But you may get a couple of bits that leak over onto other panels as well. But don't worry about that, you can grab your eraser tool and you can actually just, just rub those out, just get rid of them. So if you do get any leak overs, just, just click on your eraser and there we go, nice and clean. And looking good, so we've got the image on the car. Now what we're going to do is export that back into the file we got it from. Uh, so we just go up to file, export as, and it takes you straight back to that file it came from. So you can just click export, it's in your, your car dump folder. So export and replace. And there we go. Now if we go back to that folder, you can actually now see it's got the image on the bumper, uh, on, the, on the bonnet, which is all good. And we'll just do the windows as well, so I'll open up that image in GIMP as well. You've got your side, your back, your front. We'll stick another image on that. We'll, uh, we'll we'll take this filthy one. We'll take this nice, clean, filthy-looking one. Looks beautiful. Look at that. Just scale that a little bit, make it a bit smaller, and we can pull that just down into the centre of the window. I'll fit that there, nice. And then that's that job done. Again, we'll we'll export it. Export as, it's back into the same file. Export and replace. And boom, don't need this anymore. You can save it and continue, you know, if you, you want to stop and start again. It's all good. Um, but there we go, we've got our four things. And what we're going to do basically now is move them from the car dump folder over into the livery template build. And then that's where we're actually going to bake the livery from that file. But we do it through game, uh, through the through the game. So for starters, I'm just going to highlight all of them anyway. Just pull them over, and we don't need that car dump file anymore. You can close that down. And the next bit is done in game. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, dokey guys. So the next bit we've got to do um, is using Kino again. So we've taken the livery off the car. We've pulled it into GIMP and we've put our own little spin on it um, and it saved it. Remember that file, it's the livery template build file. It's going to start in there and then in a minute we're going to bake it in CarX and then we'll, it'll actually move it itself into the livery template file. So the next bit we do is in Kino and it's in your visuals tab. So we click in there and we go over to the livery templates and you can see at the bottom there's a template constructor and in there it's got two sections for the texture for the body and the windows and it's got two sections for the material of the body and the windows and we would just want to assign them the right things so if we look in the texture first we'll see here we've got the texture body and under there we've got the windows texture you want to put your texture glass 
and then underneath that you've got the body material so you choose your material body and then feet glass as well material glass and then we hit this magic button called bake boom and we'll save it we'll just call it example we'll just call it example click OK to save that so that's saved that now and again when it comes to your files that's saved that in the pretty much the same path in your KN base in your visuals go down to your files and you want to choose your actual livery template file not the livery template builder because we've already done that bit now it's in the livery templates but we don't need to go back to that section just now because once we've hit that bake button you can then just go back and go to load template and you'll find your example in there so when you click on that that's then loaded that livery onto the car and if we turn it around as well we can see the back window you've got your nice big filthy sticker there as well yeah so one thing you might need to know about this is if you're going to put any other stickers on that you want on the car do it before you dump the livery remember right back at the beginning when we went into the tools bit in uh, Kino and we went to the car dumper and dumped that livery before you do that that's when you want to put your stickers on because once you've actually created your gimp livery and put it on the car you can't then put more stickers over the top of it and what it also does is if you go into the design and the vinyls is any other um, liveries that you've created it's going to put these over the top of it but if you ever want to remove that so you can create different vinyls and different liveries all you've got to do is go into your livery template file and pull this livery out of it take it out put it on your desktop store it for temporary use or something like that but it's going to be stuck on that car and every other every other panel um, every other design that you've done as well and now we've got this car in game we can see it's working we've got the filthy sticker on the back window right there looking nice and clean and then we move to the front there we go you can see we've got the filthy McDonald's all over the bonnet <laughs> looking nice and good but yeah sick so that's how you make your own photoshop or gimp liveries in car x um, i hope you enjoy this video and if you do want to see more content like that please just drop us a like give us a subscribe um, hop in the discord if you can as well and uh, and check out what the team are up to uh, it's discord.gg forward slash filthy inc um, oh yeah thanks for watching guys good to see you all and hope to see you again soon